Hello people, it's me Linda and welcome to my Star Steve Online Let's Plays part 57 I think already and I hope today I'm gonna finish with Christmas Besties oh it's been a long time since I've actually written my no those goats didn't slow down at all last night I haven't been able to sleep a wink Take the goats to Elizabeth in Wheeldale. She is a druid and maybe she can figure out what has happened to them and try to figure out who is responsible for this. I hope nobody is trying to ruin Christmas for us. Do you think the house elves didn't like the porridge? <laughs> no. Hello Linda, are you just passing through here again? You are welcome anytime. I have looked into this some more. I have my suspicions about what kind of magic was used but I don't have I don't know who has done it. This is of course a sign that the darkness is growing stronger. This kind of magic has never been this strong before. Would you like to know more? I though you might want to know. I have managed to stop the magic for the moment, but whoever they this has to know it would be noticed. I suspect that they want us to know that they are here now and that a new powerful magician has come to the island. This scares me a little bit and I wonder who it could possibly be. Oh, yeah. Take these neutralized Christmas goats back to Silvergate village and put them back where they should be. Tell the councilman they should be completely safe now. Have a great Christmas, Linda. Okay. Neutralized goats. We're ready to be set up again. Mm. Thank you, Linda. Are you sure that they won't wake up again? Okay, but I will keep an eye on them. It seems like Barney by the si silo by Steve's farm borrowed the biggest and best Christmas star last year, right over to him and ask if if we can have it back to finish up our amazing tree. I had that Christmas star up on my silo last year, it was beautiful, but the storm came and blew it away, so unfortunately it is gone. The north wind has it now. Okay. I can't do anything about it, I'm very sorry, I will of course compensate the councilman for the lose. Write back to him and tell him the bad news. Aha, uh -huh, that is bad news, but you haven't seen what has happened here yet. What? Now let's see, the Christmas star is definitely missing. I have heard that Mario saw something in his telescope that he described as a falling star, but that also looked like a Christmas star that sw uh, swirled like it was blowing in the wind. That must have been the Christmas star. I didn't think about it then. So I have already spoken with Mario and got more details on what he saw. He remembers he saw the star vanish over Doyle's church. See if you can find the star or if there is anyone nearby uh, who saw anything exactly. Doyle's church ruins that is on the way to Fort Minta. Hello, you're looking for a fallen star? Hmm, let me think. Ah, I remember now, I was just over here and was calling down my little shell, sheep, shell, what the? <laughs> sheep? Twinkie. Oh, but she, uh, but he was frightened. The star flew over the church there, bounced through the treetops, over the torn rocks, over there and vanished behind the apples, apple orchard, orchard on the other side of the bay. If I was you, I would ride over to the apple or orchard, I think, and see if there are any clues as to where it went, or if there was anyone there who saw anything. To get over the Silverstone River, you need to cross over the bridge north of here. Or you can just cross the river. Okay, and there is Sonia. Hello. Is this your apple? No. How nice to have wild apples. I sometimes ride past here and take a few because they are so good. If I saw the star that the wind took, yes, I did actually. Do you know the beer cave? Be bear. Beer. Oh my god. 
bear cave no okay i looked in the bear cave a few months ago when i was out on one of my rides and the bear had a big christmas star in their cave i know it was strange but i didn't think about where it might came from have come from i saw how you were i can show oh my god what's wrong with my reading i can show you where it is if you follow me let's go follow me now okay here is the bear's cave i think the bear bears are home oh ho I don't want to go into the cave to get the start, do you? If you are going to do that, you have better you have better be really really quiet and sneak on in on foot. I'll stay here and watch. Yeah, why not? You just stay there and watch. La 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 just passing by. That was very brave of you, Linda. You're amazing. I know. <laughs> the councilman will be overjoyed to see that you have found his missing Christmas star. Take it to him as soon as you can so this Christmas can finally be ready. Yes, and we can finally get a reindeer. Councilman, we found the star. Magnificent, outstanding, shiny. You say you found it in the bear's cave? It was really brave of you to get it out of there, considering it was in a bear's cave and blown around by the wind. It is the great, it is in great, great shape, isn't it? Very lucky. There we go. I have just one more thing for you to help with. You get to put the star on top of the tree. Then Christmas is completely ready to go. Afterwards, we get to hand hand out presents, but. Uh, but bit until tomorrow. Yeah, I found it out. Thank you, Linda. The tree looks amazing. Now it, now it's Christmas. It's well, okay, <laughs> I guess. Now it's Christmas for real. We'll see you tomorrow again. Then we can hang, hand out presents. Yay! No opening presents, or your Christmas talking until tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow, Linda. <laughs> Too bad. Okay, well, I guess that was it for today's LP. I've got a lot of wishes and fragments, though. So, see ya next time, I guess. Bye!